This assessment asks us to synthesize this product from these starting materials in only three steps. The first thing we want to do to get a handle on what we're going to be doing in this synthesis is to number the carbons in the product and find those carbons in our starting materials. I've started by numbering the five carbons in the cyclopentane ring. That must be these five carbons in the cyclopentane starting material, which must mean carbon number six is the next carbon off of the cyclopentane ring. Carbon number nine in the product is part of the benzene ring, so we can number carbon number nine in our starting material. And that must mean that carbon seven and eight in our product are the carbons in our alkyne starting material. That's good context in order to how to put this uh, synthesis together to form this product. So the first step that we will do in this synthesis is to take the alkyne and we'll first deprotonate carbon number seven with sodium amide. And second, we'll use that deprotonated alkyne to do an alkyne alkylation with carbon number six. We'll bring along the cyclopentane reagent. Bring our carbon numbers along to make sure we don't drop or add any. That will do the alkyne alkylation reaction to form a new intermediate. Again, we should number our carbons to make sure we don't drop or add any carbons. We want to combine, form a carbon-carbon bond between carbon-8 and carbon-9. That means we need carbon-8 to be some kind of organometallic reagent. We can't do that directly from the alkyne, but we can do that from an alkene. So our second step will be a partial reduction of the alkene. We can use either partial reduction. Here I'll choose H2 and Lindler's catalyst. That will do a partial reduction of the alkyne to an alkene. Again, we'll bring our carbon numbers back to make sure we don't drop or add any carbons. And now I can finish out this synthesis by making a organometallic reagent out of carbon number eight. So first I will add borane. Borane will add across the carbon-carbon double bond to put the boron on carbon number eight to make a carbon-boron bond. I can then use that to do the cross-coupling reaction with carbon number nine of my other starting material. So my second step here will be the palladium catalyst and the bromobenzene. And there's also with that, we'll have water as the solvent for this reaction. That will form a bond between carbon eight and carbon nine and form our desired product. This is how we can synthesize this product from these starting materials in three steps.